After finishing our introduction to templates, it is now time to explore the template library, which is located in your builder. So I already loaded up a template here, and I want to show you the three ways how you can access your template library first. And the main option that is always available to you is right in toolbar. So I just hover over this folder icon and then I just click on it and you can now see the template library. This is the first way to do it. If you have existing content on your site and you want to insert a template, like say you have an individual section that you would like to insert, then you can insert it right under any of your sections just by hovering over a section and then we click on this little folder icon here as well which brings up our template library and then if I would insert my test template for example you can now see it's inserted underneath this section um, so like if you have five sections and you want to insert a template under your third section you just need to hover over your third section over this little pen icon click insert template below hover over your template and click insert like we just did then there is a third option which is in case you have no content here so it just shows you an empty canvas then you can also access the template library just by clicking this insert template icon here all right, now we have an empty canvas, which is also great. So I can just show you how we can insert our templates also from here. And we are going to start at the very top. So in the top left corner, you can see two tabs, my template tab and community templates. This first one lists all of your own templates. This, those are the same templates. You can also access through the WordPress dashboard by going to bricks and then templates. And if you, I have, I think, um, 10 templates in total, so you just need to scroll down and it's going to show you all of your templates. If you hover over a template, you will see additional actions. So now I have this, this is probably the most important button, just to insert a template. But you can also delete the template just right from here. You can click the pen icon, which will load up this template and you can start or continue editing this template. You can export it. So if I would just click your export, it's going to download our JSON file in the exact same way that we already went through in our introduction to templates video. You can preview your template. So you just click here and then it's gonna load up this template. In our case, it only contains this heading and that is, um, everything you will see up here. It also shows you the template type. So for example, this is a template type content template. This is our footer template type. And you can also see the author um, of this template. Then next up, we have our community template. So if you click on this one, it loads up dozens of pre-designed templates that are ready to use. You just need to hover over them, insert the template and then you can start editing. You can see here, because those are not your own templates, um, you're of course not allowed to delete them, um, but you can um, preview them so you can see them, how they look online. And then you can just scroll down and go through all of them to see if anything is suitable. And then you can continue editing from here. This is also a really great way to just explore how different kinds of templates are built. If you need to bricks, um, this is actually a great way to familiar familiarize yourself with um, the site layout, how sections are structured, how things are aligned and so on. Okay, then on the top right, we have two very important checkboxes. The first one is import images, um, is disabled by default. So in that case, if you import a community template that contains images like um, this one here, it will not download these um, images into your media library. If you want to download those images, then make sure to enable it. Bricks also has a smart image detection, which means if you previously already downloaded a image from a template and you download this template again, it will recognize that you already downloaded this image and will just use your existing image. This helps you to um, 
keep your media library nice and tidy. Then we have this content replace checkbox. It's also disabled by default. So if you have existing um, sections on your site, like in our case, we started with this template. So I already have a section. If I now say I want to insert um, this template here, I click insert, it now inserts it below my existing section. But if I would say I want to replace my content and I insert the template, you can now see my all of my content is gone. Like this hero section we had here before, and it is only using this section from this template here. That's everything to the um, very top. Then right underneath, we have our template filters. So we can search via um, by template bundle, template tag, template type, and we can also type in any a specific keyword. If I, for example, want to look for my header templates, I could just type in header and now you can see it shows me my one header here. Template bundle, I have one defined. If I select it, it shows me those four templates that belong to this demo. Template bundle, template tags, I have dark and light. I select one, it shows up. Template types, it shows me, lists all the different available types and then I can just select and again it shows me my templates that match this template type. Then on the right, we have three actions. The first one is to create a template. So if you're done editing a page or a template and you want to continue creating a new template, you can just do so right within this template library. So you just click it, give your template a name, select the template type. This is mandatory. Template bundle is totally optional. You don't need to define those. We covered this in our previous video. Template bundles and template tags are optional. And then you just click Create. And now I have my template here. I can just click Edit. And then it will load up the builder with um, this empty canvas because this is a new template. It doesn't have any content yet. Then we can also save our um, Bricks data as a template. So in my case, I have this heading here. If I would Want to save this content in my case it's only one section i can just click save i give it a name um, section because it's just one section i'm just going to call it section title give it a template type of section and then i can just click save and now i've saved this section um, template i preview it you can see it shows me my section and then next to it you can also import your templates either just um, drag and drop them into this field here from your computer or you just click select files to import and then you just browse on your computer select it import them and they will show up right here